Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this Fighter in Focus video, we'll be taking a close look at the killer boss on Great Nashtooth for Age of Sigmar and Warcry. Here we go, here's our killer boss on Great Nashtooth, and this awesome model is taken from the Dominion box set, and the killer boss is from the Cruel Boys faction, which is part of the Auric War Clans. In this video, we'll take a close look at the model itself, and then we'll have a little look at the history behind the kill boss and what they're all about. And then we'll take a look at the war scroll running through all the stats and abilities. And then we'll also have a look at the war cry card and abilities for this fighter. So you can use this model in either Age of Sigmar or war cry games. Arrogant and wily rulers of the cruel boy war clans, the green skin warlords known as killer bosses are foes to be feared. Each has schemed, cheated and fought viciously to earn their position and with an array of cunning tricks forever up their sleeves they are masters at turning circumstance to their advantage. It's commonly held by the Auric war clans that might makes right. The killer bosses would not dispute this but they would likely expand its definition somewhat. Though capable of ripping off a man's arm with little difficulty it's the natural craftiness of these green skins the mork muscles that sets them above their peers. Masters of the backstabbers, killer bosses are both consummate fighters and surprisingly capable tacticians. When a war begins to build and their minds start spinning with all manner of conniving plots, a killer boss's capacity for un guile becomes a thing to be feared. For all this, killer bosses remain greenskins through and through and find the urge to fight provided the odds are stacked in their favour, near irresistible. Their weapons are crude, but functional and typically coated in all manner of toxic swamp sludge. Their scare shields are often amongst the most gruesome of all, sometimes appearing to leer with their own spiteful intelligence. Particularly successful killer bosses are able to procure a great Nashtooth mount from the Beast Breakers, the better to both carry them to the fighting and show off their bossiness to their mates. These canine monsters, the ancestors of whom were corralled and whelped by the breaker bosses, are so savage that they are forever on the cusp of violence. While repeated pain dealing has more or less dissuaded them from turning on their masters, they will bound towards the foe at the slightest provocation, howling as their powerful envenomed jaws crunch through armour. So that's a little bit of a background behind the killer boss and also the great Nashtooth that you can see him riding here. And this is a really awesome miniature taken from that Dominion box set. And it's a push fit miniature, although I glued it together as well and just trimmed up a little bit of the connectors just to get a really nice seal where those joints are. Um, but there's a great miniature. I can't wait to get it painted. It's going to look so good. And the swampy vibe is really coming through here. The scare shield's crazy with that big tongue and those tusks coming out and um, with his spear and that helmet. He looks really menacing. The Nashtooth is a really interesting looking model, almost like some kind of crazy mole beast. Um, I think this is going to be good to paint it like they've done in the book in like a purpley colour. I think that'll look really good. And you've got all the texture coming through in the skin there that with some um, shade and maybe a bit of dry brushing, I think that's going to come out really nice. But all the armour that's on there is looking really great over the helmet, head, the head of the beast. And then you've got all this swampy kind of looking material. So all these leathers that are just draping off it are designed to look and fit in with that swampy feel that comes with all the cruel boys. So this is a really great model to be leading a Cruel Boils army with and this comes in the Dominion box set which you can pick up and I'll put links in the description below so you can get those either at some online retailers and also save a fair bit on the RRP up to 20%. Now let's take a look at the War Scroll that comes with the Killer Boss on Great Nashtooth and this is for Age of Sigmar and then once we've done that we'll take a, the, a look at the Warcry fighter card and abilities too so you'll be able to play with this model in either your Age of Sigmar game or your Warcry game and here we've got the War Scroll for the Killer Boss on Great Nashtooth and you can see that at the top we've got the name there and over here we've got the characteristics for the model then we've got the weapon characteristics a little description 
and then we've got the abilities, and then right at the bottom, we've got the keywords. And this is all gonna come into play when we look at the rules. But for now, let's just go over those statistics and abilities for this fighter. So with this mounted killer boss, we can have a move of 10 inches, can take 10 wounds, bravery seven, and it's a three plus save. And then for the weapon, you can see he's got the jagged boss sticker, and then the Nash Tooth has got the bone crushing fang. So let's start with the boss sticker. And this has got a range of one. You can make four attacks. It's a three plus to hit, a three plus to wound, minus one rend, and then that's two damage. And for the bone crushing fangs, it's almost the same statistics here. The range of one, four attacks. It's a three plus to hit and to wound, but a minus two to rend and the same two damage. And this little description here will just tell you who's using which weapon. So it says the, the killer boss is armed with a jagged boss sticker, and then the mount, which is the great Nash Tooth, attacks with those bone crushing fangs. So that'll let you know which weapons to use with which part of the miniature. But now we've got the abilities to look at, and it looks like we're gonna get two here. And the first is called All Part of the Plan. The cruel boys tend to be very impressed by killer boss's cunning feats. So long as the boss has a plan, they are willing to face down even the most like unlikely odds. If a friendly cruel boys unit fails a battle shock test within three inches of any friendly units with this ability, only one model from that unit will flee. Then our second ability is this one here called Savage Hound. Great Nashtooths are canine monsters bred for feral savagery. When the stench of blood is in the air, they find the urge to bound forward and pounce nearly irresistible. And this suits their killer boss riders just fine, given the terror it inspires in the foe. And for this ability, we add one to hit rolls for attacks made by this unit, if this unit made a charge move in the same turn. So that's two nice abilities for our leader here. And this is kind of gonna give us an idea of maybe how the tactics are gonna play out for this warband. And so with that all part of the plan, you're gonna be able to keep more of the fighters on the battlefield and in amongst it. And then with the Savage Hound, that's really encouraging you to make a charge with this unit, the killer boss on Great Nash Tooth, to get stuck in and really do some damage. So there we go, that's the war scroll for the killer boss on Great Nash Tooth for Age of Sigmar. One of the great things about these models that come for Age of Sigmar is that we can use them in our Warcry games as well. And I came up with some Warcry fighter cards for all the Cruel Boys that are included in the Dominion set. And these are free to download and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go and check those out. And that includes the fighter cards and the abilities. So they're all free for everybody. If you want to check them out and then you can use them for personal use at home, print them off and then play some Warcry games as well. So let's have a look at this fighter card for the Cruel Boys Killer Boss on Great Nash Tooth. And here you can see for Warcry, he's gonna come in at 265 points. He's got a movement eight, can take a huge amount of wounds at 40 wounds and a toughness five. He's got the leader rune mark, he's got the mounted rune mark and one other rune mark as well. So he's gonna get some abilities there for the leader and that extra warrior rune mark. And he's got two weapon choices. The first is a ranged weapon with that spear and that's a range of two, making three attacks, strength five, dealing two to five on a crit. And then you can also throw that spear at a range of between minimum three, maximum eight, three attacks, strength four, dealing one to four on a crit. And also the great Nashtooth has a role to play as he can make some attacks too, but that comes out in the abilities. So let's have a look at the abilities now for the killer boss on great Nashtooth. And so this leader is gonna get three abilities altogether. The first is a double called Go Get em. Until the end of the battle round, add one to the move characteristics of friendly fighters when they are within six inches of this fighter. And they're also gonna get another leader ability called Cunning Tactics. Until the end of the battle round, friendly fighters within nine inches of this fighter can make a bonus disengage move. And then the final leader ability specific for the killer boss on Great Nashtooth is a double called Fangs of Fury. Until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy fighter, pick a visible enemy fighter within one inch of this fighter, then allocate one D6 damage 
to that fighter. These three leader abilities are all really set up to kind of give you an idea of how to play tactically with the Cruel Boys. And the idea here with this leader is you're really pushing your fighters into battle and then with that cunning tactics triple, then they can make those bonus disengage moves. And so they can go in, attack the enemy, break away and then just stay out of reach. So the enemy has to move towards them to make an attack unless they've got ranged weapons in their next turn. So that's how that plays in. And then the Fangs of Fury specific so we can get that great Nash Tooth in on the action too. But it's not just leader abilities you can use with this fighter. You can also take advantage of the two regular abilities that any fighters with the Cruel Boys room mark can use. And the first of these is a double called Scare em Good. If two fighters are within two inches of each other, roll a dice. On a four plus, any enemy fighters within two inches of both fighters must move back one D3 inches. And so this is the idea of making use of those scare shields, but they're not gonna work on every enemy fighter. And you do have to have more than one scare shield close enough to that enemy fighter to make a difference. And so that there's a few other mechanics I built into that just to make it a little bit more interesting and um, not always guarantee that this is gonna come off. So that's the first one, but they also get a quad ability. So let's look at that now. And this quad is called Stinky Backstabbers. Until the end of this fighter's activation, add one to the attack's characteristics of attack actions made by this fighter. In addition, each time any fighter be it enemy or friendly, is taken down by attack actions made by this fighter, this activation, this fighter can make a bonus move action. So this is really playing into the underhanded, dirty tactics of the Cruel Boys and also their ruthlessness towards their own um, friendly fighters. So we can use this one, say you've got one friendly fighter who's low on damage points, he's took a lot of punishment, then you could actually get one of your fighters, maybe this leader, to take him out just so he can get a bonus move action to escape. So it's just an option that you could do if you wanted to. So that brings us to the end of this fighter and focus video where we looked at the killer boss on Great Nash Tooth for Age of Sigmar and Warcry. But I'd love to know what you think about this fighter and is this something that you would choose as your leader for Warcry and for your Age of Sigmar army too. And so lots to look forward to with the Cruel Boys for Age of Sigmar as we've seen loads more miniatures being released. But I'd love to know what you think about this one in particular. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and this gave you a good idea about what this fighter is all about. And please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share our ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.